on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ujjal Kumar Sen, and watching Ujjal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So today you are going to study about rotational and irrotational flow, right? So let's get started with rotational flow. Rotational flow. What is the definition of this type flow? Let me share with you. So it is that type of flow. It is the kind of flow in which in which the fluid particles in which the fluid particles when flowing with streamlines stream lines and rotate about their own axis here you need to put concentration on two things rotate about their own axis first and second streamlines these two points are really important for the case of what rotational flow now most important thing is that mathematically how we can able to understand this mathematically right so let's get started mathematically how we can able to understand this mathematically right now we have rotational components right and uh, we denote this as omega is equal to informed of what matrix or determ emitter, uh, matrix from what we say i j and k i mean uh, determinants from what we say x curly upon curly y curly upon curly z u v w right so we can find out the value from this right so we are having here what components like wx wy and wz right so here linear algebra comes into play right now what is happening in this case uh, in the case of rotational flow the most important factor is here we are having components wx wy and wz so what is happening basically let me share with you what is happening wz now these components these components one or more values will be different one or more values will be different from zero one or more values will be different from zero are you getting my point this thing you need to consider in case of rotational flow now let's move on to the irrotational flow irrotational flow we have to go to irrotational flow i double r o rotational flow irrotational flow now look at the definition what is the definition of irrotational flow here you go when fluid particles when fluid particles while flowing along streamlines stream lines do not rotate about their own axis do not rotate about their own axis this type of flow is known as e rotational e rotational flow this type of flow is known as what e rotational flow now if you wanted to understand this thing in mathematics or mathematically how we can able to understand this when omega x is equal to omega y is equal to omega z is equal to 0 then the fluid flow 
is known as e rotational flow then we can say this that the fluid flow is known as e rotational flow so this is all guys this is all about rotational e rotational flow and thanks for watching thank you very much see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye